Hey there. Oh, I tried a new mic again. <laughs> I've bought like four mics. And, um, and over the, you know, over several years. And I end up having to just go back to this lavalier mic because I just can't make them work. I end up with worse background noise with the more expensive ones. So I'm sure I just need a better camera or something. Here is what I'm going to play with tonight. These little miniature paintings. And a friend at Christmas time bought me this cool little art set with these teeny tiny little two inch by two inch canvas boards. And he'll, he does it with me, which makes it even more fun, but we'll put on a Bob Ross episode and then we'll paint these little tiny pictures. And when I'm done, I'll play a little bit with fabric and scratching. But um, we'll put on a Bob Ross. And what's fun about these tiny canvases and using tiny paint brushes is you can't ever get it to look quite like his. So it takes some of the pressure off if you're not a painter, which neither of us are, but we wanted to play. So anyway, um, this was the first one. And um, I didn't get his permission to show his, so I'm not going to show his, but these are the ones that I played with. You probably can't even tell what some of it is, but this is a little tiny cabin. And leaves with some different kind of fall leaf colors. And water on a little bank, water falling. And a little tiny bit of sky peeking through in the background. So we had a lot of fun with these. And um, we haven't done it for a little while. It's time to get back into it. Anyway, here's a little mountain scene, snowy, snow-capped mountains. And what's fun about, first of all, Bob Ross is just fun to watch. And, you know, some people say he was kind of the first ASMR artist without knowing it. But he would talk so gently to the camera, to his audience. And he would tell you, he'd always scroll the colors across the screen at the beginning. And then, um, let's see, make sure I'm getting that in the screen. And then he would do it in layers. So he'll start with the background and the sky, and then he'll paint uh, a color, you know, next to it. It might be this mountain shape. And then you would put the darker colors, you know, the closer you get, the darker the colors are. So he starts to teach you some little techniques and tricks. And it's just fun if you're just wanting to play around. So this is something fun you can do with a friend or your children or something. My nails are super short right now. Um, but hopefully that won't be distracting. So there you go. And then here's another little one. A little uh, scene. I don't know if you can, let's see, I'll hold that one up close. This was a fun one to do all these little trees and then uh, the evergreens he when he does his evergreens it's so fun to watch him do his evergreens he gets this flat brush and he just kind of uh, does this little trick where he just slowly starts to widen it and change the angle as he moves down here's a little teeny cabin and he'll always talk about you know little creatures or people that might be inside of the painting so you get drawn in and feel like you're part of that world. But there you go and, and you can see there's a little, um, let's see, a little path here leading up to the door of the cabin and then a little bit of a fence post. I don't know if you can make that out in this painting. And then some fence posts in the foreground, just a few. It's fun to see if he has a little more time, you know, he'll throw in a few more details. And um, we're always to the point where with these little canvases, by the time he gets to his last details, we've pretty much filled up the canvas and there's no room left, but it's great fun. There's just one more here I think that I've done. This one's a little snow cabin with some evergreens and little snow on the boughs of the trees and kind of a wintry sky and mountains in the background. And of course, when you look at his, there's all this stuff in the foreground that's missing from this, but he's so amazing to watch. It's just, just fun. So one of the subscribers told me that he likes to watch Bob Ross. I think he said every day with his, one of his children, they 
just watch it. They don't even paint. They just watch an episode. And I think that's so cool. He is comforting. He has some squirrels on. These little, I can't remember what kind of squirrels, but they're, um, he kind of nurses them back to health and he'll just have them on a show and show them drinking from a little bottle. It's just fun. So those are my little miniature paintings. I think it would be fun to, um, I'll just scratch on that a little bit. I think it would be fun to frame them and put them in a little dollhouse. But I don't have a little dollhouse. I just love miniatures. <laughs> so I'll scratch on this for a bit. And then I brought another pillow that I can maybe play with a bit and then we'll call it a night. This will be a short one. I'm um, rehearsing a show. I can't remember if I mentioned that before. I haven't acted in several years, so it's been really fun and intimidating <laughs> to act again. And um, and memorization is so much harder for me as I'm getting older. I just have a hard time. The first scene that I have is like a two-page monologue. And, oh, I'm exhausted by the end of it and the show's just begun. And uh, anyway, but it's great fun. And it's a character that um, I haven't, uh, well, it's, it's a, um, personality type that's very different that I haven't been able to play for a long time. It seems like I was just getting these bitter, angry women <laughs> for years. And um, this character is a lot more quirky and fun. And, um, and it's just kind of a, oh, what's the word? An optimist against all odds. But yeah, I've had trouble with my memory with that opening scene. Or it's it's my character's opening scene. It's not the opening scene of the show. All right, we'll see if the scratching will work. I when I tried it with the mic, it sounded like there was a an earthquake going on. <laughs> I tried changing levels. I probably spent about an hour and a half on it and never did figure it out. So I'm back to my little cheap lavalier mic. This is a pillow that goes to my couch. I got a new couch when I moved into this uh, house. And um, I love the couch. It's kind of that mid-century modern look. And I was going to go with a more neutral taupe color, but I decided against it. Um, and I'm going a little more bold in decorating this round. I've got a kind of a crazy carpet. Um, Maybe I'll show you a picture of it if I remember at the end. And if I don't, then I'll make sure I get it in one of my videos. All right, there's my scratching. Scratching is a big trigger for me for some reason. All right, and then I'm gonna bring up, this is my old tablecloth. I always um, put on the, I get to buy these old fashioned tablecloths that are those old cotton dyed cloths. And, um, I, I like to change them out because they're all different colors and patterns, so I can totally change the look of the kitchen very easily. But that kind of uh, bright blue is my tie-in color these days. And my uh, carpet, my rug that I bought, has this green and then that kind of peacock blue in there too. I like it. And I'll maybe trace a little of this pattern if I can get it in the camera for you. I'll trace this pattern a little bit, okay? And I hope that you are having a nice, relaxed moment. And that you're finding ways to self-soothe. It's a great thing to be able to do. And you know, there's a lot of noise in the world right now. It's a little harder sometimes to self-soothe. It certainly is for me. I am. Um, there are some nights where ASMR is the only thing to get me through, and then there's other nights where it doesn't get me there. That I'm still 
feeling a little anxious. And uh, sometimes meditation is easier than others. I'm a little out of the frame, or I'll slow it down a little bit. a short one. I'll just trace a little bit more and then I'll say good night. Maybe you can uh, just notice your breathing kind of getting a little mellower, slower. One of the things that is helpful to me if I'm feeling anxious is to, and I do it in the videos a lot, put my hand on my heart. I had a therapist that I worked with some time ago who, uh, he kind of taught meditation classes and um, he would teach us to self-soothe is the word he used to and he would have us put our hand on our hearts a lot. It's something I've done in many uh, yoga classes and meditation classes. It's fairly common, but there was something about his tone and his manner that made you just feel like your precious soul. <laughs> and um, I always would feel like I had taken time to really nourish and cherish myself after a session with him. There's something about that that's very kind. It's, we forget to be kind to ourselves. I sure do. I expect a lot out of myself at work, at home, when I was a parent. <laughs> I uh, put a lot of pressure on myself. And sometimes we just have to remind ourselves that we're doing the very best we know how. And that, that might mean that uh, we're not able to pay as much attention in one area as we are to another. And that includes ourselves, you know. It's so important to take care of yourself and we all know that. But at least my truth is that there are times when I'm not going to be able to do that for a little bit. I have to put my focus somewhere else. And then there might be a weekend where I let my friends, you know, kind of take the back seat while I take care of myself and say, hey, I'm not going to be able to hang out and do all of these wonderfully fun things. And I know how much you might like me to hang with you, but I've got to take care of myself this weekend. And there's other weekends where you've got to fill up that escrow with people <laughs> because perhaps you've been working so much and you haven't been able to give time to them. So life is, is a tricky balance, isn't it? I'm kind of just needing this pillow or time. <laughs> All right. It's nice to visit with you. It's been a little while and it probably will be a little longer before I post again just because we're going into a tech week for the show next week and then the show will run. So I'll be a little busy but I'll come back here and check in with you in the future. All right. Have a good night.